Good morning, Modern Stutters. We're getting set up to get the tin on today. It's looking pretty dreary out, but it's not showing any rain in the forecast. We'll keep our fingers crossed we're not going to get any, but you never know what's going to happen. We're going to use these boards as strapping on the back wall. That way we can run our barn board straight up and down and have plenty of nailers. Strap it on this back wall. First, I'm going to use the construction adhesive. And I got blocks in here. I don't want it sitting right on the floor, so this will block it up evenly. All the way across, it'll be an extra set of hands. I want my strapping to be 16 on center from the bottom, so I'm just making some filling strips because they're 16 feet long pieces. So I can set them up, flush up one end, set them down, and nail them in place, and it's working perfectly. When you're working by yourself, you gotta work smarter, and you can do pretty much anything you want by yourself as long as you think about it beforehand. I know from gluing furniture pieces together, the glue joint is stronger than the wood. If you've got to break the wood afterwards, it's going to break on a grain line, not where you glued it, which is kind of amazing. And we just took a washer off one of the roofing screws and we're putting that up against the rib for a spacing so when we tighten up the screw we're not at an angle or we're not too high on the rib. Yep, I'm gonna slip on out now. Yeah, just I'm just gonna see if I can push it up. I just wanna Yep, no, my hands are completely free of it. Okay, 
Yeah, not us. I'm good right there. I like it. Wow, that sun is nasty, man. When you get a chance, I'm going to have you hold the ladder. Yep. We were able to get all the tin up, and then it rained. Look at this. Let's bring you over. All this is wet, wet, dry. We finally got a dry spot to hang out in. That makes me happy. The roof is on, the big part of the structure is done. We're getting there, and now if it rains, we can hang out under here. Let's walk this way, and we'll look back at the outdoor kitchen. It looks pretty nice. You ready for it? This is like the big reveal. Are you ready? Here it comes. That looks nice. We are gonna have to get a gutter up here sooner than later because the rain's coming right off, which we knew, and it's washing out the bank right here. So we either need to build a retaining wall or put a gutter up. Yesterday we didn't get a whole lot of footage. We had to kind of put it in beast mode to get it done. Let me show you what we got done on the back side here. We got it all strapped all the way up to the peak. So we got it all strapped. And now we can run the siding straight up and down. It worked out really good strapping at first. It gave the structure some more strength this way. And then once we side it, it'll work out really nice. But those pieces of strapping are all glued on with liquid nails. We still got to make our 45 corner braces here and on all the other posts. But look what I can do now. I can have a cup of coffee under a covered roof. That makes me happy. Now if it's raining out or sunny out, we got a place to hide from the sun. We got some shade and then we can stay dry under here and even eat our dinner. We're getting there. This gets me excited. Here it is looking at it from the house with the overhang and everything. Got a little bit of cleaning up to do and tearing down and bringing back the staging. But all in all, that was a good day. We got the roof done. I'm happy. We got the big push part all set. The other hardest part's going to be that back wall, which won't be too bad. And then putting all the wood in for the ceiling. But compared to putting the beams up, that's easy work. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it, it's really helping our channel grow. And if you're not already a subscriber, we wanna say hello to you. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And when you do that, a little bell icon comes up, hit that and it'll turn on notifications. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. <music>